Race day is still a little less than a month away. But preparations are already underway for this year's NASCAR street race, and that means street closures. WGN's Judy Wang has details. 27 days until race day, the first in a series of street closures is hours away. It's definitely a hassle, but uh, it was also a spectacle, and who doesn't love a spectacle? It was a slight pain in the butt, but a forgivable pain in the butt, given the circumstance. Ida B. Wells will close from Michigan to Columbus just after midnight. Parking restrictions will also take effect. We enjoyed it. Maybe if you're looking for some problem, I guess some people might have a problem with the noise and whatnot. I personally did. It's bringing the city money. Um, it's only for an event, so it's not like it's an everyday thing. So, you know, no, it didn't bother me at all. NASCAR returns to Grant Park July 6th and 7th. Last year's event was NASCAR's first street race in its 75-year history. The course, with multiple 90-degree turns, took drivers through the heart of downtown. The speed. <laughs> the speed, and I just like the, the adrenaline rush. And so I'll come again this year and just ride down here and see it again this year. To build the course and grandstands, another round of closures will take place every week. Next, from the 19th to the 20th, northbound Michigan will close overnight from Congress Circle to Jackson. More significant closures will follow at the end of the month, including portions of Jackson, Balbo, and Columbus. The Office of Emergency Management says popular attractions like Buckingham Fountain will remain accessible to the public. The good news is they really got it down to a science from what I've read and I think that they're, they're cutting down the time from what I read and so it won't be maybe as bad time wise but still get affects some people for sure. Following talks between NASCAR and City Hall the build and breakdown will take 19 days instead of 25. I watched last year, it was pretty nice. The rain wasn't the best experience, so maybe we have better weather this year. In Grant Park, Judy Wang, WGN News.